Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Raspberry Milk Punch. Delightful cocktail, right? And yeah, fun. Very fun. Uh, this is based on our Bourbon Milk Punch. Yep. Which is, that's a revolutionary era cocktail. Yeah, right? Ben Franklin enjoyed it Yeah, quite a bit. He got it to drink it probably to cure his gout, not realizing that alcohol exacerbates gout, right? <laughs> right. Well, at least he felt better. Yeah. Well, you get to a certain level and you're all totally numb, maybe it does help the pain in your toe. Yeah, at least it got him numb. <laughs> so we got the idea for this cocktail because we saw an advertisement for strawberry milk that mm-hmm. was garnished with one of these powdered sugar donuts. Right. Yeah. And we said we have to make that into an alcoholic drink. Exactly. And that's really the only excuse we have for bringing fun stuff like this into the house, right? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, our wives would like not allow donuts. Yeah, I can't believe these donuts lasted all the yeah. way to this afternoon. Well, there were more to start with, <laughs> let me tell you. So for this recipe, you need bourbon. We're using the mixers here today. Some half and half. We're going to sweeten it with maple syrup. You need 13 red raspberries and some little powdered donuts. Mm -hmm. It's fun, right? Yeah, exactly. We're going to start by putting the bourbon and the raspberries into the glass of our Boston shaker. So that's two ounces of bourbon. There you go. And we tried this recipe various ways with rum, brandy, gin. Mm Mm-hmm. Phil's going to muddle these, get the juice out of there. And this is the best combination. We've tried sweetening it with other things. This also is a very nice drink with the London Dry Style Gin. In that case, we would just sweeten it with agave nectar. But you can make it that way in equal Mm -hmm. amounts. All right. To that, we're going to add four ounces of half and half. And two-thirds of an ounce of maple syrup. With the bourbon, you get a nice caramel kind of right. bourbon note to yeah. it. So that's why I like that. And then with the gin, you get more of a botanical, uh, sharp flavor to it. Right. Exactly. Making me thirsty cool. talking like that. Though. I know. And then uh, two thirds maple two-thirds. syrup. There we go. All right, and then after the maple syrup, we're going to add four ice cubes and shake to to chill it. There are a couple glasses we like to serve this in. One is this kitty milk glass. That's the Anchor Hawking single bulge glass. Or this is the Villeroy and Bach whiskey glass, which was what we're going to use today. Okay. And we've tried various ways to strain this thing. The best way we found is just to dump everything all at once right into this medium-sized fine mesh sieve. And then just scrape it a little bit with a spoon as it clogs up with the raspberry bits. Looks like a raspberry milkshake, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, the regular bourbon milk punch is always one of our favorites. It's like a nice desserty drink. Sweet, mm-hmm. rich, flavorful. Nice. There we go. And then to garnish that, we will put on the donut, right? Mm-hmm. So we'll take a straw, spear it through the donut hole, and lay it there on the side. And here you have your delicious raspberry milk punch. Enjoy. Cheers.